Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome, welcome. Let me just put my sweatshirt on. It's getting a little chilly. It's getting a little chilly. <clears throat> so, let's do Aquarius again. Okay, so go watch part one. And, uh, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Go watch part one. Um, I honestly, honest to God, I know I just made the video. I can't remember what cards came out. Okay. I know it was, I think the ending cards were the chariot, the two of cups, going after, um, going after what it is um was important you know kind of like and then they're gonna kick off going after um the core issue you know your desires your happiness that type of stuff let me put some music on um i'm going to actually play some to play some rain. And some thunder. Okay. So I'm going to redo it. And um, you're either going to get kind of the same message or a completely different message. Okay. So it's important that you watch part one, guys, because I talked about a lot of things that I don't want to repeat because of the energy, okay? So, Aquarius, next two weeks, core issue, Aquarius. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay, so it's the four of swords. Okay, it's rest, mental rest. Okay, previously you had the ten of swords, mental. Okay, it is time to rest. Let, just give your brain a break. Okay, if you work in the city, get out of the city. Take a road trip. And I say that because at the bottom of the deck, look at the dark city. Okay. So the core issue right now is you're not getting enough rest. Your, your brain is like this. Okay. Past feelings or attitude. You know, your past feelings of your six of cups is your soulmate. And actually, you did have that in your last card, too, is go towards your soulmate with the chariot. Um, so you've had attitude towards your soulmate. Okay. Um, the feelings are there, but you're also giving them attitude. Okay. So that's not cool. Tell me about your past actions. <clears throat> last time, you weren't taking any action. Okay. Again, the Hierophant. Being at two minds about this situation with the Ace of Pens, whether or not you're going to have a new start. So in the past and currently, because you're at the four, it's mental. Okay. You're at two minds. You don't, you don't know which way to go. You know, you don't know whether to put your head up high or put your head down as you're walking. You know what I'm saying? So... Get your best advice. <clears throat> and obviously you're playing mute. 
you're not telling somebody, look at the big coin covering the mouth. You're not telling somebody that you want a relationship. You're not telling your soulmate that you got feelings for somebody. You're, you're too much up in your head. Okay. You need a break, especially if you live in the city. Um, the advice is the nine of wands. It's one more fight. I know you feel like you've been running a maze right now, like an effing rat race, okay? You feel like you're battled, you're wounded, you can't go any further. You have to. One more step, one more fight, one more battle. I know you're in heavy energy, but the best advice, the best advice I can give you right now is what the universe is saying. One more, one more battle, one more, one more push. Um, present feeling, how you're presently feeling, okay. which is mental. Passion coming back out. Okay. So presently you're happy thinking about this situation, this connection. Again, a very scripted message here. I believe it was you guys that had not scripted. I don't know. Cryptid. I believe it was you guys that had that cryptid message too. And you had that ten of cups. I mean that nine. Nah, it wasn't you. It was Taurus. So regardless, presently you feel like your dreams can come true. Things can come into fruition. Whatever it is you've been manifesting and working towards. You know. You're currently happy. Which is great. Um, very condescending energy, ladies and gents. Tell me about this nine of cups. The tower. So this is a sudden change. If you haven't felt it yet, you will. This is an abrupt change of energy. Okay. So where this is headed, last time it was headed towards the, the two of cups, the ten of cups, happy situation. Okay. Where is this? Whoa. What fell was the king of wands. The last read, you had the King of Wands and the King of Cups come out together. Okay. Um, with the Empress. Okay. So taking action, going after your desires. What is this? That fell to Sam. Ten of Pents. All right. So this is where it's heading, guys. It's, it's heading straight to the Ten of Pents. Stability. A solid foundation. A nurturing foundation. Building a family. You know? Taking action. Being motivated. Being inspired, staying determined. Beautiful. Kind of just like the, the other one, okay? So advice for the future. Except this was a, a short version. I know you guys, advice please. I know you guys are having a hard time, okay? The year's almost over. You're about to start a new journey. All right, go after your desire. Go after what you want. Your core issue is you, you, you're too busy mentally staying somewhere where you're stuck. Icky. Get out of it, okay? So advice for the future. And it's the nine. It's the anxiety. Let the anxiety go. Okay, let it go. It's like your own, you had judgment earlier. It's your own judgment call. Do you want to stay in anxiety? Do you want to fight for what you want? Do you want to go after what you want? Like... Your best advice is for November is get out of this anxiety. Get out of feeling trapped. It's the eight, not the nine. Get out of feeling trapped before you repeat this cycle. Do you understand me? Take the blindfold off. Open your eyes. Stop being in denial. Okay. You have you've had attitude because this is your past feelings or your attitude. So you've at, you've had attitude towards your soulmate. Okay, you've been mute towards your soulmate, not opening up, not sharing, not giving time, being too minded about this situation. The best universe, universal advice is one more fight. You're, you're so close, you're right there. Okay, this sudden shift, your current energy is the Ten of Cups. Why? Because the tower came in. It was like an epiphany moment. It was like a hoo hoo hallelujah type thing. Okay, 
where it's going. If you stay determined, you can have your Ten of Pence. You can have this solid foundation with your soulmate, with this Empress. Okay. Your best advice is to get out of feeling entrapment. Take the blindfold off. All right, that, that's telling me you're in denial. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Best advice. Advice for November, first couple weeks. Okay. <laughs> Take the blindfold off. A lot of you guys are in denial. Go speak the truth. Stop, stop being mute. Get out of the anxiety. Open your mouth. Tell your soulmate how you feel. Stop giving them an attitude. I told you in the last read that you were looking for your one, okay? Because your core interference your, was the Ten of Swords, okay? I told you you needed that one. Here you go. You need to keep communication is key for you guys, which is ironic because your Aquarius is you, it's mind. You, you know how to communicate, all right? But take the blindfold off. Apparently, some of you guys are in denial. You're, you're worried about the outcome, but don't. You're worried about the tower, but don't. You need your rest right now, okay? Your mind is playing games, okay? Let go of the past. Let it go. Leave it in the future. Leave it in the past. Don't bring it into the future. All right, I can't remember what monology card you had. I believe it was, um... I couldn't tell you, but it was purple. Because I remember saying, like, man, this is beautiful just checking the volume Aquarius Aquarius it was just the most vibrant purple I it was just beautiful okay it says this is the end of a tight a tough cycle okay um it wasn't that one I can spot it so under the divine no it wasn't that one Bringing love into the situation. I believe that's what it was. Let me just make sure none of the other purples look alike. But I don't really feel like that was it. No, not that one either. Not that one either. Oh, emotions are running high. That's what it was. Okay. Um, Yep, that's exactly what it was. Emotions were running high because I was like, that makes sense because you had the King of Cups. Okay. It was finding that com compassion again. So, um, but originally, I mean, you pulled bring love into the situation. And look at again, it was, and it's the Aquarius, it's you guys. And it's purple again. Okay. You guys are connecting the purple right now. All right, but bring love. No, emotions are running high. This card suggests the answer. Whatever it is you're seeking, whatever you're going towards, have patience. Okay. Um, you're bursting with energy right now. You can expect plenty of good things and positive outcomes. Okay, success is closer than you think. You just need to trust. The uh, resolution to your question is closer than you think. Something exciting lies ahead. Don't blow things out of proportion. Seek the goddess. Ask for her assistance. Okay. And don't ignore the obvious. Did I say that? Yeah. Okay. I feel like I did. I just say that. Speak to the goddess. Ask for assistance. Make sure you don't blow events out of proportion. A resolution to your question is closer than you think. Don't ignore the obvious. That talks about the denial that I clearly see on my board. All right. So. That was the previous card. In case any of you guys related to that, okay, which relates to the spread. But what you just pulled, and before you didn't have this sudden, you didn't have this sudden thing, so it's it's coming, okay. If it hasn't hit you yet, it will be. You're gonna get hit with a whole bunch of compassion, a whole bunch of love, something that you've been looking forward to, some type of new foundation, okay. Um, Self-care, taking care of yourself, being a rebel, stepping outside the box, giving it one more go, one more fight, okay? So Aquarius is all about progress and, and moderation, so it's time for you to move forward. 
Okay, it says change changes on its way and it could come quickly whether you want the change to come or not. It really depends on what it is you believe in and how much you're willing to put upon yourself. This card comes with a suggestion that you may need to drop things and do things independently on your own, but being loving and not too pragmatic. Time for your essence to shine again. When this card comes up, Aquarius energy is electric. It is meant for you to feel it. Certainly, there is a sense of what you need to let go of the past and move towards your future. And please do it as soon as possible. Attune to the moon. Explore the idea. It's not just what you know, but what you do know. It... Explore the idea that it's not what you know, but whom you know. You need to be more detached from your past situations. Thinking outside the box will bring you a solution. More pragmation is called for. Improve your karma by doing some charitable work if need be. Aquarius is a sign of innovation, modern advances in technology and human humanity. It's the energy with little brittle. It's individual, scientific even. Emotionally detached sometimes. Many people think Aquarius is a water sign because Aquarius symbols are the water barrier, but it's actually an air sign, far more intelligent than any emotional water sign. It is this card, and no matter when you draw it, dropping convention works well with this type of energy. All right, let go of conditioning, the conventional thoughts, let them go. Think outside the box. Go after what it is you love, your dreams, okay? Leave the fears behind. Leave the mental anguish behind, okay? Go towards a solid foundation. Stay determined. All right. Stop giving your soulmate an attitude. Stop being indecisive. Go show that compassion that you guys carry. I love you guys.